Hey everyone, this is Luis and welcome to my channel. Today is the release date of Diablo 2 Resurrected and why not make a video about it? <laughs> I've been playing a little bit today, um, basically developing a, a barbarian uh, earlier today and um, I thought I could do a short video about what I came out to discover um, with these few hours I've played. And this, in this case I will pick up uh, another character. I'll be doing the Amazon. And uh, the first things uh, I want to mention here is the, the welcoming, welcoming menu is completely different from the old Diablo 2 feeling we had so no more a single player multiplayer button and uh, button at button so instead of that we have we have here the the same things we had before the cinematics and credits and exit but then all those other buttons turned into play and lobby so play if essentially uh, just starting um, kind of a single player over button uh, or if you ch if you change here to offline single player uh, over over your local characters without botnet and lobby essentially the multiplayer so in the lobby you can basically look around existing games players in the lobby create a new game with the a password or not and all those different things we had the ladder but it hasn't started yet or of course and play just starts a new a new game with the random name and the random password basically uh, settings is in interesting to see here the game creation settings uh, setting basically uh, the, you know the um, player maximum player count and difference of, of levels and so on and then interesting to note also the options here you can you can set settings differently for the legacy version of the game so uh, playing with the traditional old graphics from Diablo 2 and then the new graphics from the Resurrected Edition you can change quite a lot of things here um, basically you can play from at very various different uh, graphics um, profiles and resolutions but then you also have these extras here for the legacy which I haven't tried yet the Bandit Shadows, the perspective mode so this is interesting. Uh, on the audio, you can. This is a, a, a big departure from the old version where you had very limited control over the audio, and now you can control specific uh, audio um, volumes for specific things in the game, from voices to uh, the music to the monsters. Everything you can control in a certain way here. And then on the gameplay, there's a lot of things that are new here. Um, so you have the auto goal pickup, which if you don't like, you can turn off. And you have here uh, different uh, texts and subtitles and things that show up in the game. And then um, also uh, a, m a bit more, a bit more um, settings for the for the for the auto mapping feature. So with that, I think I'll s I'll start now a new game. I'll pick up the the Amazon and hope that the game starts immediately <laughs> because today <laughs> they had a lot of issues with uh, creating characters the f so the screen's freezing not doing anything going back uh, showing errors uh, games not starting throwing errors etc so after a few attempts you would eventually get in but it was tough and now Last time I played, there wasn't any issues, but they had to shut down the servers unexpectedly with the, an, uh, an alert, with a schedule alert. And I hope by now that is all, all of that is resolved. So let's go and figure out <laughs> creating game. And I would like to demonstrate a little bit here the differences, because this is this is uh, an awesome uh, remake. We are going to focus on single player only, so via botnet in this case. 
and I figure that's the easiest way to get you started in the game and also to explain the differences because playing multiplayer will open a lot of possibilities so let's focus on this one so the first thing that you will notice is that uh, there are a lot of controls by the way this this tab doesn't show on the other um, screen I don't know why I guess they could they could add that and the rest I think is the same but I guess this one they should add and so this kind of reminds me of the old Diablo 2 I think it was also only any of these settings were only only visible on the once you started the game so first thing is you you want to see here is what are the key bindings for um, for the basic actions so uh, the skills and um, the way you can access character and inventory screens etc using the belt items shouting and so on but then there's a few extras here you have the F for for zoom and G for toggle for toggle legacy and this is nice because F lets you do this <laughs> and this is awesome you can see the the character the NPC's faces like the, the stash you can finally see the stash in detail you can see the fire come on that's great Akashia here you can see her legs <laughs> for those who like legs and I see health we have here um, Akara which you would never never ever see her face in the tail and now you can and also this is act, by the way this is act one there's uh, five different acts so you will come across many NPCs and we have Charcy here we, we never actually saw Charcy in this detail and um, what can I say she looked she has the voice of a, of a young woman but she looks older <laughs> now <laughs> and we all thought she was younger and she looked younger but she's older I mean look at that body <laughs> at least sh maybe she got old hammering all that metal <laughs> I don't know and then if we see here Gid man I thought he was I don't know bald uh, and old but it does look like that <laughs> look at the difference look at the difference looks like he has um, I don't know black maybe black hair in the back at least and we don't know if he's bald but <laughs> very different from what we expected okay what else what else so we have legacy mode and that's legacy mode <laughs> look at the difference you see Warif, Nikashia can see your legs still and we have here Akara Akara can you see your face I mean you cannot see your face look at the difference you cannot see your face it's all pixelized look at the difference look at that it's fantastic you, you can finally play the game in a, in a way that is more truthful to what the designers the game designers the game uh, um, the game artists and so on wanted look you cannot see Charcy's face and now you can but yes she looks she looks different and and Gid here I I think he was bald let's see let's see Man, maybe I got just <laughs> a bad memory now <laughs> Now he still has something in, the, in his head, some kind of cloth. So that's 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 it for uh, for graphics differences in the, in the first perspective here in the town. But there's more to it. So the character screen here is is more or less so the the um, the stats more or less the same. But now you have this addition in which it will list all the special um, bonuses that your items might be giving I don't have any any yeah. items now because I just started the game but uh, I don't know maybe I can pick up something here from the inventory from um, from what I picked up earlier uh, today yes let's see this bow here 
Uh, not sure identifying work inside the stash. Maybe it didn't in the original game, but it doesn't work here. So, 14 attack rating. Can we see that here? No. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll see some something here sometime, some somewhere. Well, the... Mm, the weapon swap is back in the game, fortunately. It's something that the original expansion to the original game added, that the original game didn't have. Um, and we have now the shared stashes, which we didn't have in the original game, nor the expansion. So the, the original game had a much, much um, smaller stash, like um, one third of this. Then the expansion added a bit more, so then we had like two thirds. And now we have a much larger uh, stash, but then we also have three shared stashes. So basically uh, negating the need for mule, mule accounts. And that was also something that was quite annoying in the other game because you... Mm, I haven't checked here yet the limit on number of, of characters you can have, but I would say that probably something like 15 or 20 or unlimited that's what you can make in, in this new game as for the older game I think you had a limit of six so six characters a much shorter stash no shared stash means you would have to drop items uh, in a game the game had to be launched with at least um, more than one person in it when you left the game and joined with another character or if there's only one person, you, then you would need to 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 play like 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes so that the, the, the game would not close itself when you left the game so that you could return and fetch those items that you dropped in the ground. Ba basically by, by doing this you will leave this item for your other character or a, or a mule to come and pick it up that was the method that or having two computers two copies of the game and then with the both computers in front of you you would join the same game and make a trade between between the two characters which we cannot demonstrate here so this is evidently much better significantly better and uh, it's also not new because there were already some mods some very old mods for for Diablo 2 that were also introducing the concept of stashes long long time time before before Diablo 2 resurrected so okay. it's nice that they picked up that change but um it would have been nicer if the original game had added that feature way back uh, in, in, in Diablo 2, Diablo 2 lot because they had upgraded the game for like 10 years so they could have added that feature it's not that hard to do I think so what else can I show you guys so the skill trees are back and they are the same I don't know if the skills can be resetted I know that in the original games at least in the expansion after many many patches they introduced a few ways of doing that and there was um, I think a vendor that allowed resetting one skill and I think there was also something like an erotic group formula that allowed doing that something like that I don't I don't really recall very well I that was quite late in the game uh, and um, I didn't manage to play much at that time what else can we see? We see here the, the quest logs. The quest logs are essentially the same, no change. The inventory, of, uh, so the one you carry, I think there's really nothing of a particular change here. So it, it's always the same uh, slots for items, the weapon swapping, everything is the same. They might have changed or not the number of item spaces here in the inventory as well as here in the stash um, beyond what we are talking about but um, I would really have to count them <laughs> compare with the original so I don't know at this point I don't know then we have let's see the auto map features 
I know you can change this somehow. There was a way of changing this card. There was a, a way of changing the auto map uh, type of auto map. So we had F9, F10. Yeah, the Z key. Does it work? Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's a broken feature. <laughs> it's a uh, kind of expected, given that the beta was so broken. Let's see what else. Fade F10, F11, F12. So fade works. That's cool. And this one also. So I, I suppose those features are working. I believe there was similar functionality, but not all of it in the original game. What else? What else? We have here the the party screen. I think this is pretty much the same. So where you would have, um, you know, that's the game name and password. It won't be active too long, so don't bother. <laughs> don't bother because this is an offline video. <laughs> and then uh, you would show here the players, and you could party with them or make hostility towards them, and so on. But because this is a more single player game, you don't see those. And uh, I think I think that's it covering the very first introduction to the differences. Now we're gonna go. We're gonna go fetch a quest. So we have here Akara. I am a coward. And I she's gonna give us a speech, but we have a new feature here. I we can scroll but I'm afraid I can also back and forward. So nice, huh? Please so nice. So we got a quest. The Den of Evil. And make sure you always check these various uh, information they give and you can also ask other other NPCs for additional tips on on the quests you have basically every NPC in the town in the town where you are in the act where you are will give you additional information so with that Let's go proceed and do some fighting. I hope I can finish this in another, I don't know, I seven minutes or so. So just a short, just a short introduction to the Apple II Resurrected and the differences we had from the previous game. Now, look at the detail here. Look at this. Look at the detail we have now. She already equipped the armor and the looks changed. See there? This also changed in the original game. I was kind of expecting a bit more uh, this time around. Um, so we don't have now gloves and, and helmets and that kind of stuff. If we put a helmet, it will change, but uh, I don't think it changes yet putting boots or gloves or belts and um, kind of expected that when uh, once I started playing I thought they would be adding that stuff well, maybe they won't so let's proceed a bit more grab some some stuff I'm waiting for the gold to pop up to show you guys the the auto gold pickup. I'm grabbing all the possible stuff. By the way, what I picked up here from that shrine over there was this one here. It's an experience booster. So for a short period of time, I will gain much more experience. Now, by uh, taking talking of experience, I gain the level. So now I can increase the stats. Oh, that's the experience boost I'm having. We can increase the stats here. I'm not bothering to do that now, but I will pick a skill. So, among all the things you can select here, I'm gonna get. I believe I'm gonna get jab. I'm getting jab. And let's use this experience boost as much as possible while it lasts so that's 
jab in action. There we go. So, gold auto pickup. That was a bit fast to watch, but we'll see if I can demonstrate that a bit more. Right. So see, I'm not clicking it, and it auto pick up. What else? What else? What else? Let's look in here. <laughs> Rakani shoe is going to die. Maybe not today. Sometime. That's an um, inside joke, <laughs> because Rakan Ishu is a boss on this act. Oh, we, we, cut, we caught a little bit of lag in there, I think. Let's see, we, we have the stamina potions, that's something we still have. Look at this bar here, stamina is recovering, and now I can run. For a certain period of time, it won't um, it won't spend my stamina, and the stamina is recovered to maximum, so that when I when I run out of the boost, the bonus, I can resume running because the stamina will be at max, and then it will go down progressively. This is a, ch a change. So the the first very game. Diablo 1 didn't have that concept. You could alternate between running and not. Though the animation was a bit odd. And um, I am I'm full. Got a ring. And then Diablo 2 introduced this concept for making things a bit more interesting and harder. So now you cannot run all the time indefinitely. You can run until your stamina runs out. I think we're done here. And then Diablo 3 re uh, took that away, removed the functional alt altogether, and now you can run uh, indefinitely. and repair let's see we're going to ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know maybe I'll keep that I'll sell this I, instead of making decisions I'm just gonna be the gonna go the lazy way so drop all this okay Le left control left click control to to throw things in here and throw this in there and throw this in there and that in there so we're now empty so as i was saying uh, um stamina controls were introduced in diablo 2 then removed in diablo, in diablo 3 and i expect that some players will be upset when <laughs> playing Diablo 2 and facing that feature again but that's life because we are playing a remaster not a different game their attempt is just to make the game a little bit better not change it drastically let's go we're going to try complete the so I guess this will take a little longer we're gonna try to complete the the um, Den of Evil quest. By the way, I think I forgot to pick up the item here. Right? I'll just ah forget it. I think it was just a low quality item, anyways. So let's look for the Den of Evil. By the way, you can still move the map around like this, like in the original game. So the Den of Evil is here. 
here we are. Um, I hear feral creatures about. This is very interesting and very important to do the critical strike. It's something you should do for the Amazon. And this is also very good, the magic arrow. And so <laughs> where should I start? <laughs> I mean, I love arrows, so I'm going to do the magic arrow first. Of course, I didn't bring a, a bow with me, but eventually I'll get one. Besides the one I have already in the stash. I also like a lot of dribblings. So this is a nice character for me because I like just about everything that she does. In this uh, quest, you have to kill all the monsters here. So I don't know how many they are, but we proceed. When that X shows up, as you saw there, uh, already a few times. That's when you miss the target. For those who never played Diablo 2, I'll give you another bit of information. So, in Diablo 1, the mana uh, didn't regain, but in Diablo 2, the mana regains. So, that, that X there was the missing, missing the attack. So, they dodged it. Um, the, the mana didn't regain in Diablo, Diablo 1. It was also not called mana, but was called, um, I believe, energy. Concept is the same, but different name. So, the X there. When you get a lot of Xs, means you need to increase your dexterity. Oh, my gloves broke down. <laughs> Too bad. Oh, changed also. So, like in the original game, Diablo 2, the items uh, they, they fail and they can be repaired. But on Diablo 1, once they got their durability to, to zero, they, 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 they were gone. The items were broken forever. You could repair always until then. But also, a different thing. In Diablo 2, usually the items can be repaired to their um, standard durability. But in Diablo 1, and they would uh, lose durability over time as you repaired. I don't know exactly how that worked, but I know that it was something like that. Now, we have here a health, and I'm going to go there to save some of my potions. I guess I should go. That's for the mana. I guess I should go. Oh, that's not health. So either I get experience fast, level up, and recover my. Ah, yes, I have a bow. Of course, I brought the bow. <laughs> Stupid. Or I just uh, avoid combat altogether, go to the town, kill them from afar. Use a potion. Can go the lazy way. Can go the conservative resource management way. Let's try now here the magic arrow. That's nice too. It shows here the number of arrows. I don't remember if it showed in Diablo 2. I think so. I think so. In Diablo 1, by the way, also a difference between the games. The arrows never ended, so you could let's see the magic arrow. That's nice animation. The the arrows never ended, so you could keep firing forever. It was a bit unrealistic. So adds more depth to the game like this. You can keep killing these monsters, but you will not gain additional experience like in Diablo 2 because they only count one time for the experience. Oh, 
What now? What now? I'm gonna get mana again. Wow, this is ex extending way, way, way past what I had anticipated. But uh, I guess I didn't estimate it very well the time to to complete. No, the world didn't replenish to complete the um, this early phase of the game. it for this side can I survive longer without taking a, a mana or a life potion I don't recommend this but I'm gonna accept the challenge Oh, it's okay. It's already killed. <laughs> I shot a bunch of arrows and somehow they, they hit him. Look at this detail. It's so nice. Like the, the, um, the cloth dancing uh, around. It's so, so nice. I'm, I'm eager to try also the sorcerers and make a video about that because it's going to be fantastic. And even more, even more, when you level up the the characters and get access to the to the to the stronger skills. Speaking of, man, fool. Speaking of skills, I suppose I can also give a little bit of information here so the original game well it had uh, I believe the the same three every every character has three three different skill trees with a set of skills I think that's not a change between between uh, the original game and then the expansion and now and certainly now back to the resurrected it's not a change but one thing had changed over time in the um, Lord of Destruction expansion for the original game is that the skills, I don't know, past five years or six years or something like that, they, they added a, 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 an update that provided um, passive bonuses for the skills. So uh, as you develop, if you develop this skill, oops, let's take a uh, little attention here. If you develop this skill here, the slow ma missiles, it, it would also boost other skills and the, the same for everything. So, this one, uh, this one here, lightning strike receives bonuses from power strike, lightning bolt, charge strike and lightning fury. So, lightning fury this one, charged bolt this one, charge strike, charged power strike, charged bolt, lightning bolt, charged bolt, I don't know where is it, <laughs> but anyways, charge strike, okay, I don't know, it was confusing, so uh, this, the skills feed themselves, and so instead of just using uh, the same old skills as always, you, you could uh, create a little bit of dynamics there, well, let's finish this, Ooh, scroll over 85, but I don't have anything here with me for 85. Let's change this and finish. Finish the mission. These zombies. There, we have a new level up. There you go. These are hard. And you too. You too. Right? How many left? We have three left. And then I'll make sure I'll pick up all this stuff.
There we go. Last one. There we go. And now we do a town portal. Perhaps now the sisters will trust. Look at that. So nice, so nice. Let's grab a few items in here before we go. One more. And there we go. Back to the Rogue Encampment, the town of Act 1. And we can do a bunch of stuff here. I hope you enjoyed this. It certainly made my day. <laughs> Getting the news that the game was out and go ahead and play it. Uh, big change here. Um, the game is fantastic. So far, the single player c uh, campaign that I tested with two characters, just the first mission, is completely worth the buy um, if you like the type of game. And I will be checking out how the rest plays out, the rest of the single player playing, <laughs> and then the multiplayer, I guess. <laughs> so I'll catch up with you guys some other time and I'll. I'll see you around. <laughs> Give a like, a subscribe, stay around if you like. Oh, by the way, stay a while and listen. <laughs> That's the way to finish this. See you guys. Bye bye.